The flat walk is a brisk, long reaching walk that can cover from three to eight miles per hour. It is a four beat gait, which means each hoof hits the ground separately. The horse will glide over the track left by the front foot with its hind foot, such as the right rear reaching over the right front and the left rear reaching over the left front. The action of the back foot slipping over the front track is known as overstride. And overstride is unique to the Tennessee walking horse breed. A Tennessee walking horse will nod its head in the rhythm with the cadence of its feet. This nodding head motion along with the overstride are two features that are unique to the Tennessee walking horse. Old timers used to say a horse should be ridden for at least three months in the flat walk to build his rhythm and strength before even attempting to do a running walk or a fox trot. Moderate work in this gait will help improve your horse's overall condition and help him or her to do most of the faster gaits with less effort. As you ride this gait, you will feel a back and forth motion in the saddle. You will feel the horse driving from the back end. There should be no side to side motion. There will only be a back and forth motion in the saddle and an up and down motion of the horse's head. The flat walk is the first gait of many gated horses. And the easiest way to ask for the flat walk is to speed up slightly from the fastest ordinary walk. You then want to build on this by practicing this for a fair amount of time. Walking up and down hills at a flat walk will help build your horse's strength. If the horse is pacey, going up the hills will improve its gait. If the horse is on the trotty side, then walking down the hill at a flat walk will give the horse more swing and help the horse to smooth out. It's important to keep the same speed as you're practicing your flat walk. If your horse is changing speeds, use your half halt to keep the horse at the same speed. Your half halt will also help to lighten the horse's front end and use your legs to help drive your horse's hindquarters underneath him. As you're doing a correct flat walk, you will feel the horse's hindquarters slightly lower as it is reaching way under itself. A good place to practice this is on a road so you can hear the clear four beat footfall. And remember, each foot is going to hit the ground separately, and that is what keeps the horse smooth. There should not be any suspension in this walk. You should only feel either stillness in the saddle or a slight back and forth motion. If the horse has a lot of overreach, you may get a fair amount of back and forth motion in the saddle. The shorter the horse's stride and less overreach, the less motion you will have in the saddle. This gait is the basics of most gaited horses and you will need to build on this and have that horse get stronger before you increase its speed and move on to your horse's intermediate gaits.